All right, I think I got it this time. Havoc Physics. I'm bringing it to you. This is how to set it up and get the debugger to work. All right. Unity 2019.3.0.b8 is what I'm running. And to do this on your project, go to the package manager. I'm going to close out that tab there. Okay, package manager. Um, install Havoc Physics. You may need to go here and show preview packages if you don't see it on the list. Then install Havoc Physics. It'll install some other dependencies, but that'll get you set up with dots. So, once that's installed, we'll set up a demo to test it out. So the first part is to configure Havoc. I'll show that first because that's really the meat of it. And then I'll set up a quick demo to prove that it's working right. So to set up Havoc, it's pretty straightforward. Once you do it once or twice, but there's a few steps. So create a new game object. I'm going to call it Havoc Config. And this is going to hold the scripts that are going to do the work for Havoc setup. So Havoc is set up through, uh, probably should create an empty game object, but whatever. Yep, here we go. So then to set it up, a few scripts. You need a physics step. And then you need to turn that thing into an entity by converting it. And then you need to add the Havoc config. So these three scripts are going to do all the physics config for the screen. The first step is your physics step. This is where we're going to define Havoc and turn it on. So Havoc physics, simulation types at the Havoc physics, that's what enables the engine very nice and convenient convert to entity moves this into the entity framework so it can talk to the rest of the systems and then havoc physics is the configuration for havoc itself so set up like this this is the default this is enough to get it working so you can press play at this point it's not going to prove much of anything yet because we can't see too much but we'll set up a quick experiment to verify that it's working and then we'll load up the editor for it so Let's fire up the editor in case maybe that's what you want to see right now is just how to do that part of it. So from here, go to the Havoc Physics Configuration and then look over here where it says Visual Debugger and click Enable Visual Debugger. Then go up to Window and then go up to Analytics and excuse me, Analysis and then go to Havoc Visual Debugger. So this is going to connect to like a mini web, mini web server on your game essentially. Uh, so to make sure this thing works, go to connect, and then in the connect tab, you'll see this thing connecting, disconnecting, connecting, disconnecting. If you run the game huh. and press play over here, okay, so then on the right hand side, this is where it's going to display the simulation when it's working right. So if you press connect, disconnect, you're getting this problem, which if you look at the log view of this thing, oh, let's see if I can rearrange this window a bit so you can read that screen. Yeah, this might do it. There's the log. Local. Here we go. Now we're connection timed out. If you see that problem, check this. Back in here. Go to have it config. Make sure that's enabled there. Make sure that the port is correct. Local host to be correct there. And then over here under simulation type, make sure this is set to Havoc Physics. Got that. And then give it a play. And you can see it's still not connecting to it. Same type of thing, network timed out type of error. So you might try to turn off your firewall at this point and be like, what is going on? Why isn't this connecting? However, the answer to it is that you need to create an object in the scene in order to kick off the whole simulation. So let's take this cube, for example. Well, put the cube at zero. And after that, we'll give it some dots-like properties. So we'll get rid of this old collision 
and we're gonna add our own to it. So physics body, and then it's gonna need a physics shape, and then it's gonna need to be converted to an entity. So over here in the physics shape, we define it as a box, it's set to dynamic. So if we press play, it should fall. Fires up, converts to an entity, falls to the ground. So all that's looking good. Over here, we'll run the simulation and we'll try to connect to it. Objects loaded on the screen and it runs. <laughs> I mean, to me, I got stuck the first time with that shit where it's like, oh, it's connected. How come it's not running? Well, you need to have an object, at least something simulating in the scene in order for this thing to kick off. So that's kind of like the lesson of that thing right there. So, um, <laughs> surprise. But the good news is after figuring that out, you can get into all this cool stuff here. And I've just started to begin picking through having visual debugger. But what I did find out is that, um, and like I said, I'm new to this Havoc visual uh, studio stuff or visual debugger stuff, but it's been out for a while. Now I didn't find it like heavily documented on YouTube. And that's part of the reason why I'm making this is that there should be like something kind of current because this is going to be pretty freaking big in unity in a very short amount of time. Um, you know, I mean, there is some stuff, but this is like, you know, the mechanical stuff. How do you implement it more than it is? Hey, this is coming soon. <laughs> uh, right. So havoc, check it out. Havoc. Physics debugger. This video right here from seven years ago. <laughs> uh, shout out to Havoc Enthusiast. Um, made this tutorial and that actually has been helping me figure out like how to use this. Um, there's also the Havoc documentation too. Shout out to the Havoc docs. Uh, let's see if I can get those to, to load up here. Uh, they're in here somewhere. Let's see. Documentation. Are you ready for this documentation? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. This is like Windows 98, man. Like in the most advanced physics engine in the world. <laughs> Are you going to do me on the dock? Like, uh, I know, I'm so spoiled. I love you, Havoc. Anyway, there's some answers in there. So I don't know what the hell is going on in this debugger too much yet, but I am excited to figure out more about it. So that's how you set it up basically set up the config in Havoc. Oh, let's go back through in the hierarchy. Make your Havoc object that's gonna hold the config. Add the physics step to it to set it to Havoc. Convert it to an entity, and then add the Havoc physics configuration. And if you wanna use the debugger, you gotta go in here and go to Visual Debugger and enable Visual, de enable visual Debugger. Ah, that took me like half an hour to figure out. I spaced on that one. Uh, so do all that and then then make sure you add an object to the scene so that the simulation actually runs and then the debugger will turn on uh, and then from there too you can kind of start messing around with Havoc physics pretty quickly so you can do a lot of fun stuff with Havoc physics and uh, you know I would do something like with one of the first things I did when I started messing around with the new Unity physics engine like everybody else is doing is just clone a ton of stuff on the screen and just kind of like rain it onto a plane just to see how fast this thing, uh, you know, how fast this engine can get. And I'm here to tell you it's ridiculously fast. Like Dots is absurdly fast and Havoc physics is going to open up all sorts of fun possibilities with uh, running simulations. And it works in VR too. You know, I'm using this on the, uh, you know, the Oculus Quest right now. And I gotta tell you, it's pretty fucking awesome to go that fast and be able to do that much physics on mobile VR. So, very excited for all this stuff. I hope this helps you get your Havoc Physics running. And if you figure out how to do all the good shit with Havoc Physics, then send the, uh, the links my way. Because I'm trying to learn a lot of Havoc Physics in a short amount of time. Haha! <laughs> Alrighty. There we go.